Hey everybody, so Microsoft has released a new tool from beta into live production in Excel called Focus Cell. Now what this allows us to do is keep track of which cell we're working in or our active cell within a large data set. To access Focus Cell, we're going to go from Home over to View and underneath Show, we'll see Focus Cell. So my active cell is cell D8. And Excel's normal functionality is to highlight this in a green border. And if we have a smaller data set, this might not be a problem because it could be easy to find. But if we're dealing with data sets that has hundreds of lines and hundreds of rows, this is not going to be so easy to find. So if we go up to Focus Cell and we select it, you can see that it highlights the entire column and the entire row surrounding our active cell. And not only is our active cell still white, but the border around it is darker. So it would be easier to find where we are if we have a larger data set. Now, what if our data is in a table? So let's go down and make our active cell D9. If we go up to view and we tell it focus cell, you can see it works the exact same way. So it doesn't matter if it's in a table or if it's not. So what if we have conditional formatting on our data, like I do here? If we go to Focus Cell, you can see it highlights the column and it highlights the row. Now because I've selected purple as my Focus Cell color and yellow as my conditional formatting color, I'm not going to lie, this looks terrible. So this will be a good time for me to show you how to change the color. So if we do our drop down beside Focus Cell and we go to Focus Cell Color, we can change the colors here. So we can choose a dark blue and you can see it's still trying to combine it because yellow and blue makes green, but yellow and dark blue makes a different green. And then it keeps our cell that's conditionally formatted yellow and then it highlights our column as blue. So you can play around with these colors, especially if you're using conditional formatting and highlighting data or entire rows to see how it works. So what if we have frozen rows? As you can see, I have rows one through four frozen. So let's choose one of our cells and make it active. Go to focus cells. And as you can see, it highlights our column and our row. Now I did see some tutorials maybe about a month, month and a half ago, where they were saying that this did not work with freezing panes and that Microsoft was working on it, but it appears as though Microsoft has released this. So make sure that you see if it works for you. And if it doesn't try to update Microsoft Excel and do a Microsoft 365 update to see if it appears for you. Another neat tool we have under focus cell is show auto highlight. So if I want to search for watermelon and I tell it find next, it's going to take me to the first instance of watermelon and it's going to just put a border around it. If I go to focus cell and I tell it to show auto highlight and then I do my search, it's going to take me to the first instance of watermelon and it's going to highlight the column and the row. So that'll come in real handy if you're working in a certain part of your data set and you need to get back to it rather quickly. So for all of my keyboard shortcut users, your keyboard shortcut to turn on focus cell is Alt W E F. To turn it off, Alt W E F. Another thing that you can do that I've done is you can go up to focus cell, right click and tell it to go to your quick access toolbar so that it's here. Now you don't have the drop down options that you have to change the color and things like that, but you can very quickly turn your focus cell on and off. And that's it for today. Please be sure to like, share, follow, subscribe, comment, and all of that good stuff. And don't forget to hop on out to my website, melcompton.com, for written instructions for this tutorial and so much more. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.